What's up, YouTube? It's Arlen, and I'm back with another video. Uh, as you guys can see, this kid got a lot of hair. He got a mop on top. So what we're gonna be doing is we're taking our number six guard on our walls, and we're gonna do against the grain. Uh, make sure that you comb it out before you actually cut the hair, so that way um, the guards can go through it smoothly and the hair is just nice and laid down and everything. Uh, make sure that his hair is washed too before you cutting it. I just like it that way because it'll be easier to uh, for the guards to catch the hair. So um, yeah, make sure that's even. You guys go. Now we're gonna bald out. We're gonna be using our babyless liners to make that first bald line. Make sure that the bald line is straight because uh, I always, guys, I always tell you guys this. <laughs> make sure that the bald line is straight so that way the guidelines could be straight and then the fade or the taper could be straight. For the next step, we have our wall magic clips and we are gonna have the lever all the way open. Uh, I'm making about an inch to a half an inch. As you can see, I am flicking up. I'm not trying to make a really hard line. Uh, so you want to basically use the corners um, and uh, try to make the guideline straight. You don't want to uh, set a hard line because like I said before, again, hard line, hard take out. <laughs> so we're closing that thing up and we're gonna take out that bottom line that we did with the previous balders or you know the liners whatever you want to call it so we do close and then halfway and then open you play with your levers a lot and you also want to use the corners man think of the corners like a pencil and you want to kind of draw I mean this is a canvas you want to paint your picture if that makes any sense at all so we close it halfway then open uh, make sure you do brush the hair down a lot. I, I don't really brush the hair a lot in my videos, but I, I usually do. But corners, close halfway open. So on the next step, we have our number one guard, and we're gonna do another guy line about another inch to a half an inch. No, but I say this is about an inch. Yeah, an inch. Uh, I am flicking up. Again, I am flicking up like I am always because eventually I am gonna shape his hair. And uh, that's this whole point of this haircut. It's like a blowout taper. Uh, you want to shape the head. You know, I'm gonna shape the hair to the head, you know? <laughs> so we have our zero guard here now. We're gonna take out that bottom line. So I have my lever all the way open just to see what the guard will do. It is lightening it up. So what I'm gonna be doing after, is I'm gonna close it up a little bit more and take it out the, the little dark spot and so on. So we do close halfway open, same technique as we do with the, uh, the lever with no guard. So close halfway open. Uh, I'm just flicking up, you all, again, again, use the corners, flick up, use the edge angle and touch, the EAT, EAT as an acronym, edge angle and touch, that's uh, what my barber instructor used to say back in the day. How do we eat? Edge angle and touch, so yeah. So I am gonna be using my clipper comb right here. I got my clipper and then my comb. Your two best friends when it comes to haircutting and shaping up. So as you can see, the little hair that is sticking out, that's the hair I'm going to cut. You see it right there? Boom, you take that out, bing! You see, you see that? Um, you gotta keep doing that. As, soon, as the more and more you do it, 
it'll get easier. At first, for me, it was a little hard, but you just gotta keep doing it, y'all. It's just the same thing as cutting hair, repetition. You just wanna keep doing it. Um, make sure that you don't, you know, clip somebody's hair or take off chunks and create a bald spot or a light spot. I've done that before. I've done that plenty of times, so don't think I've never done it. It's bound to happen. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. It might happen, so just keep that in mind that it isn't gonna be perfect every single time. Uh, so I am gonna be using the little clipping up with the, I don't know how to pronounce that. You, you're basically clipping up with the comb. I, I, yeah. So I'm going around the ears right here because I don't want it so bulky. So we're just gonna be repeating the steps that we did the first time, uh, the bald line first. Uh, we're doing a high taper, a high blowout taper. So we're gonna take out that extra hook that people see on the side, you know, when you line it up. Uh, for newcomers, it is taking out the hook for the, you know, obviously the people that have been cutting hair for a while. You guys know what I'm talking about. You just take out the hook, start from the temple, make sure that the guy line is straight or the ball line straight. And uh, we're gonna be using our balders right here. Hey, hey, these are the best balders in my opinion because they get real close. Andis, I don't know the Andis, this Andis uh, balders. Same steps as before. We have our lever all the way open on the magic clips and we're making another guy line about half an inch to an inch. Well, this is actually about a half an inch. We're making it about a half an inch. Uh, we're doing it, we're making the, uh, the guy line straight and also we're flicking out. We're gonna eventually, you know, we're gonna close that thing up right here and do the, take it out with the closed, then halfway and then open. The corners y'all, make sure you use the corners and flick out a lot you guys, flick out. We got our number one guard, lever all the way open, making the next guideline about half an inch. Uh, so we are flicking out again. Uh, I did go around the ear right there because I don't want it so bulky right there, like I did with the you know the clipper comb. So I'm going to be fading it out, and I'm going to have my clipper comb just do this. This is basically the same steps, but we're just doing it on the side here. Uh, so just make sure you don't make any hard lines, you guys. So I am flicking out again. I'm flicking out, and then. Yeah, so we got our zero guard. The zero guard basically is just you gotta take that bottom line out. <laughs> so I, as you guys can see, I am going at that little side motion because his hair grows that way. Like so, you always want to cut against the grain. His hair grows to goes back right there. So you you always want to cut against the grain of the hair. Um, so. The hair goes one way, you gotta cut it against that way. So not all hair grows straight, it goes at angles and everything. So you make sure you gotta use different angles of your clipper to cut the hair. So we got our number one and a half guard. So if you guys don't know what this is, we're just, uh, I'm not cutting the hair down to a one and a half. No, I'm just taking the hairline down to a one and a half. So you go at, at an angle, so you just flick up, flick up, flick up, flick up. I'm just trying to take that hairline down so that way I can line it up so much easier so it's not so bulky and the hair just cut down much, much better. I use a one and a half right here. Um, some people use a two, but I say a one and a half to a one. Just make sure you guys do not cut into the initial hair on top. For the exact lineup, we are using our gold babyless liners. I like these ones a lot. They're my hitters. Uh, I used to use the, you know, my Andis uh, T outliners. I mean, I still use them, but. I like these because they're more a little, little bit more mobile, not mobile, but more light, and they're just wireless, you guys. So I'm starting from the middle of uh, my client's forehead, and I'm making my way from uh, left to right. I usually start like that way, yeah, left to right or right to left. Uh, you just make sure that the corners match up evenly. Uh, make sure you use the corners of the blade. You don't want to use a full blade because 
you want to use the corners because you're drawing on a hairline basically so when you're drawing on some you want to use as little as as possible like a pencil or a crayon or a color pencil you want to use the corner as of the blade like a pencil or color pencil So for the enhancements, we're going to use our, obviously, our um, airbrush machine. We're going to start from the middle, exactly how we, we did the lineup in the beginning, and we're just going to follow those exact steps. Make sure that the hairline is straight when you before you do your paint, because that way, you're, obviously, your paint would be straight. So just make sure that the, the hairline is straight as possible, though, so that way you can just follow it and trace it. It'll be so much easier for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm starting from the left and then making my way to the right. I'm going dark right here, you guys. Just make it look more extra crispy. That's just uh, how I do it. Some people like to make it look more natural, but the point is, you can use paint. Why make it look natural? Obviously, it's not gonna look natural. So uh, his hairline's already crispy as it is, so just using it just to enhance it even more. So we about wrapped up in this video, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. So it's about, in a second, it's about to show the full cut. Just make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, put the post notifications on, and here it goes, boom!